Fianna Fáil TD, Willie O'Dea, has broken ranks with party leadership over its support for the proposed hate speech legislation, describing it as woke and calling for it to be abandoned. Of course, he wrote this tweet about this, Shane, in the wake of the referendums uh, last Friday. He said, Fianna Fáil needs to get back to basics and abandon the hate speech bill. The veteran Limerick politician hit out that his party should instead focus on housing, health, law and order and stop playing to the woke gallery. Start listening to the people, stop talking down to them and stop listening to out of touch greens and NGOs, he said. And then he used a hashtag referendum 2024. So it got us thinking. Is he right? Um, I think he has a point. I'm not sure it's about abandoning the hate speech bill because I think that legislation does need to be updated. But I think certainly the focus on it um, is misplaced. I think... There is, I think, look, I think the referendum, there's loads of reasons and we won't go into them why the, the referendum was defeated. Uh, I think the main one being people didn't actually understand what they were voting for and said, if you don't understand, vote no. But I think there's also a, a, a perception out there, whether it's accurate or not, the plain people of Ireland spoke in that referendum. There's absolutely no doubt about that. And they said, you know what? And there's a lot of them, yeah, apparently. They said, we actually don't want this, this woke uh, agenda. I think they were happy to vote for uh, same-sex marriage. They were happy to vote for women's uh, right to, to choose um, because there were issues. That they didn't want to be interfering in people's lives. But I think, again, I don't know how accurate it is, but there was a perception out there that this referendum could potentially impact on their lives. You know, what would happen to the family farm, for example, uh, with these durable relationships and so on. And I think, that, you know what, I think people just went... I don't want any more of this. I'm not having it. And I think politicians, I think William D is right. Politicians need to listen to what people have said uh, and maybe stop running down blind alleyways. Uh, that uh, There's a desire in government to be seen, to be right on, to be progressive and so on. And I think the government needs to be really careful about that because the issues that matter to people, as William O'D said, or housing, or bread law and, and order, the bread and butter issues. Yeah, I, I actually totally agree with you. Uh, and I say this as a liberal, um, I, I was surprised when I heard the Taoiseach Leo Varadkar saying that, you know, this this is the liberal thing to do is to vote yes here. And this is the fr- next step on the road to kind of progress. And I was wondering, where are we, where are we progressing to? I, I don't really understand. Even as a liberal, what what, what, what road are we on? Like, is, is there an I, end, is there fair, an end point? I don't point? think Leo Varadkar ever wanted this referendum. Well, no, I don't think he can distance himself fr- from running No, but it. I think it was, like, I think the but, Greens pushed but, for this. Well, well, it's when you look at the breakdown of support for, for the yes vote, Fianna Fáil voters didn't want it. Sinn Féin voters really didn't want it. Marginally, yes, for the um, uh, Fine Gael voters. It was the Green parties and, and maybe the Labour Party and maybe the Sock Dems. It was that end of the spectrum that were kind of yes voters. Uh, and they were a tiny minority of people, it, it turns out. Now, I do think the bread and butter issues are, are more uh, important in terms of what the government does. I don't like the hate speech bill. I've said it many times in this show myself. I think that there was something about an anti-woke pushback as in, I don't think people liked the gender neutral language. I think people liked the word woman. I think people liked the word mother. I don't think they wanted it changed into something that was kind of diluted. I, th- I think there was an element of that. I think you're right that people were confused and worried about legal ramifications. But it did get us thinking. It, well, it got me thinking, at least. Is it the case that, that at one point up until relatively recently, once you said something was liberal or progressive, people were like, you know, where can I sign? You know, because that's what I have to be. I have to wave that flag proudly, whatever that flag may be. And now I think people are kind of going, no, I want to actually think about what this means and, and what I feel about it. And people, I think, maybe are are thinking about things okay. differently. Well, look, let's, uh, let's put it out there. Do you think politics needs to go back to basics? Is Willie O'Dea right? Or do we need to continue to focus on the progressive agenda?